Welcome to the TerraSet tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform visibility analysis using TerraSet's ViewShed module. Visibility analysis on how visibility changes across space, which is important because visibility contributes to how people interpret and relate to a given landscape. The ViewShed module offers two types of visibility analysis, ViewShed analysis and visual impact analysis. Viewshed analysis determines all areas in an image that can be seen from one or more viewpoints, while visual impact analysis determines the proportion of a set of features that can be viewed from any location in an image. We will learn about both types of analysis in this tutorial using two different areas of interest. First, a forested area located in the Sierra de Gredos in Spain, and second, Martha's Vineyard Island off the coast of Massachusetts. We will start by performing viewshed analysis on the forested area in Sierra de Gredos. Overlaid on top of this elevation image is a white line vector file delineating the extent of a forest ridge in the Sierra de Gredos. This analysis produces an output that shows all areas within the image that are visible from one or more viewpoints. I'll input the elevation image for the study area and also a viewpoint image. In the viewpoint image, cells with a value of 1 or higher indicate the viewpoints, and cells with a value of 0 indicate all non-viewpoints. The viewpoint image in this case will have cells with a value of 1 along a forest ridge, which is overlaid on the elevation image as a white line. Next, I'll provide a name for the output image. The view adjustment section allows for the user to account for the effects of Earth's curvature, the refraction of light and air, and the atmospheric clarity in the analysis. If atmospheric clarity is selected, the user has the option to select atmospheric conditions in the next section. The typical conditions option allows for the user to specify the level of atmospheric clarity ranging from clear to moderate fog. The visual range option allows for the user to specify any visual range, and the extinction coefficient option allows for the user to define how strongly the atmosphere absorbs light. The user can specify several additional visibility parameters in the next section. The maximum search distance is calculated automatically, but can be modified by the user. The minimum perceptible visual contrast is only relevant if atmospheric clarity is considered. It is set at a default value of 0.02, which is generally recognized as the minimum perceptible contrast. The viewer height is only applicable with the viewshed option. It represents the eye height of the viewer. By default, it is set at 2 meters. The final section of the ViewShed module is provided to give the user an interpretation of the nature of the output given the parameters they selected. When the Atmospheric Clarity option is selected, the output will provide maximum visibility from any viewpoint, and when the Atmospheric Clarity option is not selected, the output will provide a Boolean image indicating cells that are visible from one or more viewpoints. I will create two output images using ViewShed analysis one where atmospheric conditions are incorporated into the analysis, and one where they are not. Let's interpret the two outputs. The left image is the viewshed output where atmospheric conditions are not considered, resulting in a Boolean image delineating cells in view, shown in pink, and cells not in view, shown in black, from one or more of the viewpoint cells. The yellow cells in the image delineate the ridge line, which is the viewpoint feature. The right image is the viewshed output with atmospheric conditions incorporated into the analysis. When atmospheric conditions are considered, visibility becomes a continuous metric with a range between 0 and 1, where 0 represents no visibility and 1 represents perfect visibility. This metric is referred to as visual contrast. This image indicates a general pattern of decreasing visibility as distance from the ridge line increases, with certain areas of forest being entirely not visible to the viewer. Here, we have a map indicating areas of varying levels of fire risk in the Sierra de Gredos. In our next example, we will examine visibility of severe fire risk areas. I performed viewshed analysis again using the same study area, but using a different viewshed feature image that considers a single fire tower positioned at the highest elevation in the image. The image on the left shows the viewshed output with an image of severe fire risk areas overlaid on top. The image on the right indicates the areas of severe fire risk 
that are not visible from the fire tower. Approximately 59% of all severe fire risk areas are not visible from the fire tower. Now we will explore visual impact analysis. This type of analysis results in an output image that indicates the proportion of a given set of features that can be viewed from any location in the image. In the view shed module form, we will add the same elevation image as before, but now we will add the severe fire risk areas as our feature image in order to determine the proportion of severe fire risk areas that can be seen from all locations within the image. We will leave all of the default parameters as before and leave atmospheric clarity checked. The output image values indicate the proportion of all severe fire risk areas that are visible at each individual pixel. If the 20 meter fire tower was set up at the highest elevation in the image, then the highest proportion of severe fire risk areas in view at that location is 0.73. Now, let's consider a different example of visual impact analysis for a proposed wind farm off the northeastern coast of Martha's Vineyard. These two images show different outputs of visual impact analysis, one with atmospheric conditions incorporated into the analysis and one without. The image on the left shows the proportion of the entire wind farm that is visible at each individual pixel when atmospheric conditions are not incorporated into the analysis. Note that when no atmospheric conditions are taken into consideration, a large proportion of the island can see the majority of the proposed wind farm. The image on the right shows the proportion of the entire wind farm that is visible at each pixel when atmospheric conditions are incorporated into the analysis. In this case, the atmospheric conditions selected were typical conditions and clear. The output shows that the proposed wind farm is barely visible in all locations of Martha's Vineyard, with a maximum visual contrast of 0.17. When the option typical haze is selected for atmospheric conditions, the entire wind farm is not visible from any location on the island. For further application of ViewShed, please see the next tutorial on using aesthetic quality in the Ecosystem Services Modeler application. For more information on visibility analysis using the ViewShed module, check out the TerraSet help system which can be accessed by clicking the Help button at the bottom of the ViewShed module.